Millions thought COVID was over once the fever and cough were gone. But in 2025, doctors are uncovering a hidden side of the virus that lingers for months or even years. From mysterious brain fog to heart complications, long COVID is rewriting what we know about recovery. What are the latest discoveries? And could they change the future of healthcare forever? Understanding the evolving condition long COVID, sometimes called post acute sequelae of SARS CoV 2 infection, PSC, has remained one of the most puzzling health issues since the start of the pandemic. In 2025, doctors and researchers now have a much clearer understanding of how the condition develops and why it affects certain people more than others. Early in the pandemic, the focus was primarily on acute infection and preventing hospitalization. But now the spotlight has shifted toward long-term consequences. Physicians are noticing that long COVID is not a single illness, but a cluster of syndromes, which may affect the lungs, heart, brain, and even the immune system differently in each patient. Recent studies have confirmed that lingering viral fragments, chronic inflammation, and autoimmunity all play a role in prolonging symptoms. This explains why some patients experience persistent fatigue, brain fog, or shortness of breath months, or even years after initial recovery. Importantly, 2025 has brought new insights into genetic factors and pre-existing health conditions that increase susceptibility, helping doctors identify at-risk patients earlier and intervene with tailored therapies. Key symptoms and new diagnostic tools, the spectrum of long COVID symptoms has always been wide, but by 2025, doctors are categorizing them more precisely into neurological, cardiovascular, respiratory, and metabolic groups. Neurological symptoms, such as difficulty concentrating, memory lapses, and chronic headaches, are among the most commonly reported. Cardiologists are seeing cases of ongoing arrhythmias, palpitations, and microclot-related complications, while pulmonologists continue to monitor patients who struggle with reduced lung capacity. What's new in 2025 is the development of advanced diagnostic tools, including blood biomarkers and imaging techniques that help physicians distinguish long COVID from other chronic conditions, such as chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia. These tools are particularly important because patients often felt dismissed or misdiagnosed in earlier years. But now, a more scientific framework allows clinicians to validate their experiences and provide structured treatment plans. Additionally, wearable technology and AI-powered health apps are assisting patients in tracking symptoms, giving doctors more accurate data to guide recovery strategies. Treatment breakthroughs and ongoing challenges, perhaps the most promising development in 2025 is the emergence of targeted treatments. While in 2021 and 2022, the focus was mainly on rehabilitation, supportive care, and lifestyle adjustments. Today, doctors have a growing toolbox of therapies, antiviral drugs that specifically address lingering viral reservoirs are showing positive results in clinical trials. Anti-inflammatory medications, including repurposed drugs used for autoimmune diseases, are helping reduce systemic inflammation in patients who exhibit overactive immune responses. Another breakthrough is the use of low-dose anticoagulants to treat microclot-related complications, which have been linked to fatigue and cardiovascular symptoms. Despite these advances, challenges remain. There is no universal cure, and not every patient responds to treatment in the same way. Doctors stress the importance of personalized medicine, acknowledging that long COVID requires a case-by-case -case approach, similar to how cancer therapies are customized. Furthermore, access to these treatments is uneven globally, with many low-income regions still struggling to provide even basic care for post-COVID patients. Mental health and social impact beyond the physical toll, doctors in 2025 are increasingly drawing attention to the mental health and social consequences of long COVID. Patients often report depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress from the unpredictability of their illness. Many individuals have faced job loss, financial instability, and strained relationships due to their inability to return to pre-COVID levels of functioning. Psychologists and psychiatrists now consider long COVID not only a biomedical problem, but also a psychosocial crisis. 
Medical centers are introducing integrated care programs where patients receive both physical rehabilitation and psychological counseling. Employers and governments are slowly adapting by providing workplace accommodations and extending disability benefits. Yet, stigma remains a significant barrier. Many people with invisible symptoms, such as brain fog or fatigue, still face skepticism from others. Doctors emphasize that tackling the mental health dimension is just as crucial as addressing physical symptoms, since psychological resilience can significantly affect recovery outcomes. The road ahead as 2025 unfolds, the medical community is cautiously optimistic. Doctors now acknowledge that long COVID will likely remain a major public health issue for years to come, but the difference today is that there is hope backed by science. Research continues into vaccines that may not only prevent acute infection, but also reduce the risk of long COVID and breakthrough cases. Governments are funding large-scale studies to collect longitudinal data, which will help refine treatment protocols. Importantly, collaboration between virologists, immunologists, neurologists, and patient advocacy groups is stronger than ever before. Doctors are also emphasizing preventive care, urging the public to maintain vaccination schedules, boost overall immunity, and seek early medical attention when post-COVID symptoms linger. While there is still no single cure, the lessons of the past four years have built a foundation for more effective treatments and support systems. Ultimately, what doctors are discovering in 2025 is not just the biology of long COVID, but also the resilience of patients, the importance of holistic care, and the need for global solidarity in addressing a condition that has reshaped how we think about recovery from viral illness.